Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another Fallout 4 video, this time taking a look at building some simple settlement defenses for a low level character that's fairly low on resources here in Fallout 4. If we go ahead and open up our Pip-Boy, we can take a look at our character, Crash Test Dummy, who's only level 8. And if we look in his inventory, we'll see that under Junk, he doesn't have a whole lot to build with. He has some, he has a fair amount that I've scavenged from the world, but we're not going to be building any generators or laser turrets or missile turrets. What we can build, however, is a simple machine gun tower, so let's get started with that. Before we do, let's take a moment and come down here. If you find yourself low on metal or wood, and you have some weapons that you don't necessarily need, like this bayoneted pipe rifle, not necessarily worth it to keep or to sell, you can press R to throw it on the ground. Open up your settlement interface, focus on the rifle, press R again to scrap it, and you will be rewarded with 7 steel. Now, in a settlement like Oberland here, you might be tempted to rip down these chain link fences for steel, but I would recommend against it, as they provide a sort of man-made pre-apocalyptic barrier to the settlers and the plants within. But, what we want to build is here under structures, wood, prefabs, and the very first one, a floor and roof with four supporting columns. Go ahead and plant that down, come through, step over to the side, and come over to stairs. Now, I personally recommend the second set of stairs, just because they're a little less wood than the first set, and they take up less space. Now, after you've built them, if you say build another tower and you want to move stairs, you can pick these up again and take them with you, or you could even store them in your settlement uh, inventory. Now come up to the top of the tower and come over to your defense tab and turrets. Now if I had gun nut I would recommend building the second level heavy machine gun turret but I don't. I'm only level 8 and I haven't invested in it yet so I'm going to use what I have which is this simple machine gun turret. It requires 8 steel, 1 circuitry, two gears and two oil, and I'm going to plant one on each corner of this prefab. Just like this. And now we have a machine gun turret tower that has fairly decent coverage of the Oberlin Station settlement. If we come out and take a look around, the only place that's really eclipsed from this tower is behind this tower. So you kind of have to hope your settlers aren't going to go over there. Now, let's take a look at why this is important. Opening, opening up the settlement interface once more, we can see that our happiness at 53 is now going up instead of down. The reason that is, is our defense value at 20 is now higher than our combined food and water total. This is how happiness, one of the reasons, one of the ways that it's generated. So we have seven food and three water equaling 10 total. Our defense value is 20, twice that food and water total so our settlers are happier now. I also suspect that the number of times your settlement is attacked is related to the, de the ratio of defense to food and water sum. So if your defense is lower in relation to your food and water total, or even below your food and water total, I feel personally that you have a higher chance, a higher risk of that settlement being attacked. And one of the things to remember about happiness is that while settlers don't appear to die, at least at the moment, they can leave if the happiness drops too low, so it is something you want to keep in mind. Now also with patch 1.4, I noticed that they've added the attack results for a settlement that you don't show up to defend, which means that maybe they're starting to put a little more focus, a little more attention on how you defend and how to defend a given settlement. And this machine gun turret will be helpful perhaps for that auto resolution, but what it's mostly going to be useful for at a low level with low resources and low defenses like this is if you show up to help defend the settlement when you come out of fast travel and you're faced with a gaggle of feral ghouls or some raiders, you now have some help when you show up with boots on the ground. Okay. Well, I hope that you found this video a uh, very helpful primer in setting up some simple settlement defenses for a low-level character here in Fallout 4. Once again, this has been Checkers, 
and I would like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. Also, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you'll find a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and linked links to other videos that I've made, in this case probably other settlement defense videos, maybe some videos on how to acquire certain resources that are helpful for building turrets like oil, and maybe some tours of settlements that I've defended at a higher level. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video informative and maybe just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.